is a show that focuses on the person behind the brony. I'm your host, Osaka Jack. Please sit back and relax as we talk to this week's guest brony. Hello, everyone. This is Osaka Jack with Into the Spotlight on Everfree Network. With me today, I have someone who is far closer than anyone else on my show so far. If not anyone else, then you're at least second. Ms. Choco Recha. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm missing the snow that we had yesterday, but <laughs> everybody else has too much of it and offers to send it to me, so I'll stop complaining about it eventually. Ah, I'll, I'll offer you ours next time we get some. I, I would take it if it were a way to send <laughs> it over here. Trade It trades you for some sunshine. We don't get a whole lot of that here. Yeah, we get a lot of it here. <laughs> See, there you go. You may have seen a, a yearly tradition for Hokkaido children. They actually have these very special uh, snowman-shaped packing things. They will pack snow in them and mail them to Okinawa. <laughs> really? Every year. Every year they will mail snow to Okinawa. And it arrives quickly enough that it's still unmelted. So wow. it doesn't last long in the Okinawan heat. But yeah, yeah. just for a few minutes, Okinawan children that get this can have a snowball fight. <laughs> a very brief, but mm -hmm. snowball fight. Yeah. Which I think is great. I think everyone should experience snow at some point. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. At least once. And then I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> I I know that uh, Final Draft insists that snow is appropriate between December 23rd and January 2nd, and that's it. I would agree with that. <laughs> Very strongly. White Christmas, White New Year's, after that, I'm just ready for spring. I enjoyed my white Valentine's Day yesterday. Oh, yeah? Did you get a lot of chocolate? Oh, yes, I did. <laughs> from your students? Yep, from my students, from my boss. Yep, and I'm going to go poor come white day because I've got to return that in triplicate. <laughs> That's right. Which is why I like the homemade ones, because I can just pretend that I spent three times as long home making something. Just... <laughs> but yes, we've, we've glossed over it a bit, but you are in Japan. Yes, yes, I am. I'm in uh, Ishikawa Prefecture, uh, which I guess is the only thing it's probably known for is Kanazawa, being the capital. Right. Um, outside of Kanazawa, there's not really a whole lot um, other than rain. Uh -huh. uh, plenty of that. So we you're kind a... of the Seattle of Japan. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> we, we have a phrase here uh, in Japanese. It goes, um, you can forget your lunchbox, but don't forget your umbrella. And it's very true because I have forgotten my umbrella before and gotten stuck in a downpour. And before I had a car, <laughs> that was that was not very fun. <laughs> I would imagine not. No. Yeah. I've I've broken and lost more umbrellas than I've ever owned in the U.S. in less than a year here. <laughs> I will occasionally I don't do it, and I have to buy one from the uh, convenience, but. I tend to, at the beginning of rainy season, just go to the 100 yen shop mm -hmm. and get like 10 of those mini umbrellas. The the clear ones? Well, no, no, just like the really compact ones that are like the size mm -hmm. of a long pen. Yeah, yeah. They're not great for downpours, but downpours, I'm usually, I can see, okay, rain is coming, we'll bring an umbrella today. But the others, I just put them in my bag. So mm -hmm. I have You always have one. <laughs> yeah, I always have some protection that'll last 15 minutes, enough for me to get to the train station. Yeah, that that's that's a good plan because uh, you don't want to get stuck in the in the rain no. when you have to walk or or bike. <laughs> I'm old enough where I can remember a time where it didn't matter so much if you got wet because your phones were able to survive water for a short time. <laughs> now I fear the humidity will kill my phone. <laughs> oh yeah. How long have you uh, been in the country? Um, I've been in Japan for just over three years, about three and a half years now. Okay. And this is, uh, if I count all the the study abroad programs I've been to, this is technically my fifth time at least entering the country. Oh, wow. Okay. On a certain occasion. Sure, sure. What brought you here in the first place? Uh, the very first time or just this recent time? Oh, either. Um, well, um, studying abroad was the reason I had come, come before. Um, mm -hmm. I, st I studied Japanese since uh, high school. Okay. I studied in high school, uh, was my major and my master's in college. Oh, wow. And I went on several study abroad programs through that. I just 
really, really enjoyed it. And uh, then after I graduated, then I was looking for an opportunity to come here to work. Sure. And I uh, started working as an English teacher for a high school. I did that for about two years. I think almost every foreigner who works in Japan does that at least some time. Yeah. It's, it's well, for most people, it's the easiest way to get here in the first place. And True. And a lot of people, it's the only way. Um, yeah. Getting, getting hired... Well, t- to be honest, to be hired. honest, um, when I worked in Gunma, there were only two foreign, two foreign uh, jobs. Uh, you either taught English or you were a hostess. <laughs> yeah. I think the, the majority of people here are, are English teachers. Um, Good. <laughs> yeah, I would hope. <laughs> yeah. But, um, but after yeah. English teaching, you moved on to a different career. Yes, um, now I, I work in marketing for an electronics manufacturer here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, different kind of uh, line of work, different career change. But um, I was teaching for about two years, and, and that was fun, and it was it was a good experience, and I enjoyed the time with the kids. But I wanted to move on to something a little bit more, um, I guess, permanent. So for teaching for me uh, just wasn't really what I had in mind for a, a lifelong career. So sure. Stuff. Yeah, just that wasn't my thing. So I was looking for something more business oriented. And uh, to be um, honest, it wasn't my original plan either. But I don't know. I'm pretty good at it, so I'll stay. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if you're enjoying it and having a good time, then more power to you. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt it was time to move on, and that's what I did. Good. Now, you've really contributed to uh, my love of pony over here. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Yes. I'm fired. <laughs> um, for anyone who doesn't know, what, what is what is it that you do related to Pony? I am the official, unofficial subtitler of the Japanese version of MLP. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I can't really say I'm the official because... <laughs> yeah, that would inc- imply that you're paid or have permission, yeah. but yeah. Okay. Definitely not paid. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that feeling. Yes, yeah. neither am I. Not paid, low. I work probably the, the amount of time that goes into it's probably equivalent to a part-time job. This is also true for me. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I refer to it as a professional hobby. Oh, see, there you go. But it's 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 really nice. Uh, I really enjoy doing it. I've always had a, an interest in just translation in general, and although I don't do a lot of that um, at my job, it's it's one of those things that I just it's an activity that I just really enjoy. I'm not really sure why. I just like figuring out words and yeah. how to best express them. And right, right. It's, and, uh, it's, it's really nice to do that um, and entertain an audience at the same time. In general, how would you rate how Japan is doing with Pony? Uh, in terms of their script translations, most of the time they are fairly direct in their translations. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes to a point where I'm not sure that especially humor and jokes actually translate well in Japan. Right. But they tried to translate the joke as it was in English, so yeah. I guess uh, brownie points to them for that. <laughs> um, outside of the people who are, are keeping up with the Japanese version probably know that there's quite a few cuts that are made to... Yeah, the- 30 seconds every week. Um, because we have to have Lucky Pony Slot time. Yes, we have to have Lucky Pony Slot and uh, the, the extended opening and extended ending, which just is required for TV in Japan. It's yeah, really long. much. How are you going to sell CDs otherwise? To be honest, though, it's not nearly as bad as a lot of animes. Because um, I, most of the animes that I enjoy, they'll be 22 minutes long, but they'll have a two and a half minute opening and a three minute ending. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's... If a quarter of your anime is the <laughs> opening, <laughs> the recap, and the closing, you've got a problem. You're not yep. doing a lot. Yeah. But that's just... Yeah, so um, so the major differences are again the cuts. Um, yep. Sometimes, for the sake of of humor or jokes that just don't translate well, they might adjust it uh, a little bit. But, but generally, I think they're doing a pretty good job. The voice actors, I think, are all pretty good, and um, yeah, I haven't really been severely disappointed with anything. I think it's a it's a pretty good translation. I've come around. I, I admit it fully. I did not like Applejack in the Oh, yeah. Um, I, I didn't either. Actually, I think a lot of people felt that way. Yeah. Um, 
But she's come a long way. Um, she really has. In, in adjusting her voice. And um, I think that's, it's it's definitely obvious. After the first seven, eight episodes, you, you really see the difference in, in her voice. Um, I recently posted a, a, a video on my, my YouTube channel of a sort of a collage of uh, Applejack clips. Uh-huh. Of, best of and right. uh, you can really just watching that it's, it's only 10 minutes long and just watching that from the beginning to the end you can just see the hear the difference between that, that high-pitched nasally voice she did in the beginning and mm-hmm. the more uh, low tone sort of down-to-earth feel that I think resembles um, her English voice actress well I think uh, I don't know my take on it was when she began she wasn't she wasn't doing a country girl. She was doing a downtown city girl that liked to wear cowboy hats. <laughs> yeah, I think that's that's an accurate interpretation. Yeah, and now she's gotten to more of, okay, well, let's get someone who actually does uh, work and is proud of her work and works hard. Yeah. To to be fair, though, in the, the very first episode, I, I always felt that um, at least... I don't know if it was just an animation or, or the way that Applejack seemed a little bit more hyper. And, That's and true. the way she was written and the way she was animated in, in just that first episode, she was really well, like... she stopped by the Rainbow's tail, which I'm happy about. Yeah. <laughs> she did that a lot in the first season. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so, so maybe that was just something that... Uh, seeing it for the first time. And to be honest, if we go back and listen to Ashley Ball do the first few episodes, it sounds a lot different than it does now. So yeah. yeah. So. Even she had time to get used to it. So. Yep. Yeah, every every voice actor has to take some time to settle into a role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of them start off strong right away. I think um, Twilight's voice actress in, in particular, I think, does a really good job. Um, I've, just... I've come around to her. I didn't have any specific problems with her in the beginning, but I wasn't a big fan, to be honest. I think this week changed that. Oh, yeah? I think she did really good in It's About Time. Yeah. I I really like just some of the subtle noises and its expressions that she make. I think that really shows off that she's just a very experienced voice actress. I'm not really familiar with um, VA's other work or... um, Right anime or anything like that, but you can tell she's definitely seasoned. I I admit it fully, I absolutely adore Japanese Rainbow Dash's giggle. I, I, yeah, I actually took some time to warm up to Japanese Rainbow Dash. So the, the first Most people say that, but yeah. I loved the giggle from the beginning. I, I thought it was adorable. Yeah. yeah. I, I know, yeah, okay, yes, we have the male version of the speech, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah and it's a book of yeah, and, well, perhaps you can explain that better than I can, too. Anybody who's not familiar with it. Uh, the Bokuko? Yeah. Uh, it's just a, a girl who uses the the male form of I or me to refer to themselves. Um, I Actually, I don't think I've ever met any girls in real life that actually use that. Um, I've had one or two students that have done it but have corrected themselves immediately afterwards. Oh, really? Yeah. So I think maybe in their private lives they just do it normally i think they were just i think it was a girl in a class of boys and the boys were all you know refer using the male version and she was parroting them but then Mm -hmm. like remembered oh wait i can't say that oh okay well i guess if you're around it all the time it might rub off but um it's it's very often found in in anime when um usually when they're depicting some some uh, tomboy yeah so um, yeah so the tomboys will familiar with with Japanese, there's uh, more than one way to say I. There's a feminine version, a neutral version, really old-fashioned version, <laughs> <laughs> male version, really manly male version. Um, so it, it, it kind of tells you what kind of personality that person is supposed to have yeah. um, by how they refer to themselves and what kind of speech they use. <laughs> I thought, um, for me, one of the best things recently was the schmoopy doo schmoopy doo oh yes the uh the names for that one um they changed I, I, all of the lovey dovey to 
bad romantic English. Yeah, I had I had some trouble with some of those at first because what are they saying? <laughs> mm-hmm. is, it, is that pretty pretty? I wasn't really sure. <laughs> How do I translate that? It means squishy. Yeah. I know it's a cute sounding word. It's, you know, you ever see those um those happy blob faces um, you see all over Japan? Which is, I mean, oh, right, it's a cute right. blob with a happy face. And right, right. That's like puni puni. <laughs> Well, how does that? There's no English word for this other than squishy. I think yeah, that's what I, I ended up using. <laughs> so squishy works. Squishy. I haven't works. had anybody come up to me and say, "Why is she calling him squishy?" <laughs> it makes sense. I could see a lovey dovey. You're such a squishy wishy oogie boogie baby. Yeah, something exactly. like that. Yeah. So um. I I was just was dying laughing when he was in the hole and <laughs> baby John, <laughs> my darling. <laughs> Sweet baby. <laughs> yes, sweet baby Chan. Uh, that one, that one was, that one killed me too. I also, and I've been asked this question. I'm sure you have as well. Mm-hmm. People want to know why they can find many Japanese uh, pony songs, but not all of them. Uh, For example, yes. Winter Wrap Up. Winter Wrap Up was not dubbed, and neither was uh, any of Rarity's songs or yep. Heart Carol. Um, yeah, I get asked this often, and honestly, I have no idea. Uh, I don't work for Bushiroad and I'm not sure <laughs> why this decision was made. It could be a number of things. It could be um, contractual limitations with the voice actresses. Um, although people point out that um, even though none of Rarity's songs are dubbed, she she did sing her part in um, at the yep. gala. Yep. And maybe her contract just, there's some sort of clause that says she can only sing so many seconds. I, I'm not sure how, how the contracts work here. Um, could have been budgeting or scheduling, or maybe they just decided, hey, this song will be better to have in English so we can teach the kids X, Y, and Z. And could be. Could my, be another- my theory on it is that Art of the Dress and Winter Wrap Up were actually too early in the season to get done in time. That's possible as well. Which, it works until we get to Heartstorming Eve Carol, which was not translated either, which, uh, I think that one they might have left into English just because it might fit better as a that's true because because it's a holiday song. I, it's I, a holiday I, song, and oh. most English carols or most uh, Christmas carols are in English, and everybody knows that. So sounds yeah. like a Christmas so, carol. I, I could see that one getting a pass just you know because it sounds appropriate. Yeah. In English maybe, but um. I just thought it was hilarious that Super Speedy Cider Squeezy Six Thousand was translated, and Art of the Dress was not. Yeah, yeah. So again, it's it's still a mystery. Um, mm-hmm. In the beginning, I was hopeful that maybe they just did that for TV and they'll have an actual dub version on the DVD. But I'm I'm doubtful that's actually going to happen. I have to admit fully, I was very disappointed with the DVD. Um, I got the DVD of the first of the three three episodes, and the Didn't quality. Even they released it. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, yeah. It's. Um, oh, I can't even remember which episodes. It's Ticketmaster and uh, two others. Was that recent? Yeah, within the oh, last few months. I, see, I'm, I am not paying attention. I'm just <laughs> so it had a free towel in trying it. to get everything done. And <laughs> it had a free towel in it. And I, I really want to support this, so you know, I'm buying mm. the plushies, I'm trying to get the DVD. But yeah. yeah, the DVD was just a horrible quality version. Really? It was letterboxed. Ah. Well, maybe when they eventually will hopefully release a full season series mm-hmm. DVD set um, that'll probably be really high in price like DVDs are here. Yeah. Um, then it'll be of higher quality because I, I would like to eventually re-release um, the episodes so that way there's no watermark and no Japanese clock. Sure. <laughs> and and then I can go back and, and touch up some of the subs because looking back at older episodes I'm thinking that sounds kind of odd. I, I want to translate that differently. <laughs> Sure. So um, that's the plan, but they need to release a DVD first of mm-hmm. high quality. Well, and uh, you and I are both aware of it, but as of now, we're approaching the end of season two, mm-hmm. and there's been no word on whether or not season three and or four will be brought to Japan. Yes. Um, yeah, we won't know until probably the end of March if they say, surprise, next week, new episode, because April will be the, yeah, it's been airing for a year. Mm-hmm. Um, so April will be the start of a new year yep. for Japan, so maybe they'll just 
Sister Rebirth. Rebirth. But, but I know at the same time, <clears throat> excuse me, hmm. um, season three is, is a lot shorter. Um, True. Of course, there's the Equestria Girls movie as well. Yeah. Um, there's still no word on whether or not those are going to be dubbed, so maybe they might wait it out until they can get all of season four and then might make another yeah. year round presentation. I'm not sure. I'm, of course, I'm very hopeful that they bring it over and, mm-hmm. and it, I have it loved like it's doing well because they, they keep adding new merchandise to their, their online store. And yeah. There's, it's hopefully selling. <laughs> well, I've bought a buttload of it. I know that much. <laughs> I bought a notebook when I was, uh, where was I? Oh, was it some train station? Maybe I was yeah, not actually. Here, I haven't seen any pony goods in the stores. Everything that I've gotten, I've gotten online. Mm-hmm. I saw, I bought a notebook in, um, well, there's a, I want to say it was Osaka station or some station Maybe. out in that area. Maybe. I was I don't shopping with some friends. Stations often. And, uh, there's like this underground mall that we went oh, yes. to, and uh, there was a store, I, I want to say it was like the Sanrio store or something like that. Right. I mean, no, not Sanrio, I mean, it was across from Sanrio. Mm-hmm. Lots of character stores and mm-hmm. whatnot, um, and I found uh, notebooks and pencils. Nice. So I was like, oh, I'll buy it because I'm here in Impulse. Yeah. I recommend the plushies because they're incredibly adorable, they're yeah. so accurate, and they're not too expensive. Oh, Okay. 17 oh, centimeters is... I, no, okay. <laughs> I like plushies, so... <laughs> They're really good. Yeah, Japan puts um, a lot of effort into their merchandise, I think. Yeah. They, they tend to be pretty decent quality, even for shows targeted at uh, very young children. Well, that's why I'm hoping it continues, because we have the main six, but I would love to see this quality of plushie in Cutie Mark Crusaders, the princesses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I want to see chrysalis. I want a nice, soft, high-quality chrysalis plushie. She might not stand up with all those holes in her legs, though. Well, yeah, that's going to be difficult, <laughs> granted. But if anyone can do it, they can. Japan, Japan will find a way. Yes. What do you think has been one of the uh, biggest changes from the English version? Oh, um, outside of the cuts? Yeah, hmm. well, yeah, the cuts, obviously. They cut the ice cream dream. Oh, yes, that's true. They cut the beginning ice cream. I was actually just working on the subs for that before we started this interview, and I was huh. almost, almost finished. Huh. I'm wondering if... I haven't seen the, the English version in a really long time. Oh, okay. <laughs> so maybe I'm just, re- you know, remembering it wrong. Um, I, I try Perhaps not to... I am as well, because to be honest, it is at 6.20 in the morning, and I'm not <laughs> at full mental capacity quite yet. Yeah, and you have a commercial break as well. Two. And, uh, you watch it on TV. Two. Two. Two commercial breaks. See, I watch them straight through. Uh, <laughs> to sub them. Uh, go ahead. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, biggest difference beyond the cuts. Beyond the cuts. I guess the opening and ending. That's true. <laughs> That's pretty big difference. Yeah. Uh, very Japanese of them. Yeah. Uh, having I'm a, a, we're I'm on a fan of the current ending theme. I, I kind of like that. Uh, better than uh, deep fried yes. love or um, I can't yes, remember. Yes, better than Karage. Love I, I, I've subtitled I don't even know how many episodes with that ending, and I still can't remember the name of it. <laughs> we block it out. Yeah, deep deep fried unrequited love. Yeah. <laughs> and guys, seriously, oh. wish we were joking. We're not. The song is about deep, <sighs> your... deep fried chicken and unrequited unrequited love. Yes. It's... Some kind of metaphor, I guess, but yeah. I don't really understand. No. <laughs> but um, as far as I know, that, that song wasn't made specifically for Pony. They just True. bought the song off of whatever the group's name was, which I can't remember. Well, well I know that Mariah's start was, the, the first theme, yeah. opening theme, was for Pony. Yes, yes. And I that have a hard good. time believing that the second theme was actually for Pony. I know it was, but it just doesn't well, have anything to do with it. The papaya song. <laughs> well, they say Tomodachi wa Maho, which is uh, French true. romantic. So that definitely was made for Pony. Yeah. Whether or not it suits it well, I guess, is uh, everyone might have their theme. The lyrics just annoyed me every single time. Hey, That's I had to I had to sub it every episode. Oh. <laughs> um, which, um, 
would be easy is copy paste, but I also have to adjust the timing a little bit, with the software that I use. So I zoom into the timeline and just adjust to the nanosecond because I'm really, uh, Retentive. I could, I, yeah, I just, I just need to have it. <laughs> of course, it's something you made. Of course, you want something you made to be as perfect as possible, <laughs> even if nobody else can do it. No one else might might not notice that 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 half a second the the subtitle was hanging over to the next frame, but I noticed. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I need to zoom in and make sure that. It, um, but yeah, anyway, that's just that's just me spending way too much time um, making the subs add up to the frames. <laughs> No, I absolutely, yeah. <laughs> hey, but but I like doing that. It's 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 good fun because then when I'm done, I can just take a deep breath and say, oh, okay. Now I have to wait five hours for this to upload. <laughs> My source, I get them from MLP Japan. That's right. Uh, we mentioned this before, but you were not the person who originally started uh, subtitling these. Yes, um, actually, MLP Japan started um, announcing that she was going to be doing the subtitling for uh, the Japanese version. And when the Japanese version was originally announced, and I, I thought, oh, okay, I, I really want to sub this. I want to try to find a way to get these episodes. But I, I don't get the TV station in Ishikawa, which yeah. is the prefecture where I live. Um, it's airing in, I think, Tokyo, Osaka, and you know, two A handful of others. Yeah, a couple of Sendai others. gets it. Oh, um, I think Fukuoka. Fukuoka, yes. Um, so I don't even get it here. So I'm, I'm looking around online to see if if anyone else in Japan is going to be capturing these. And I, I found her Tumblr account, and she was subbing. And I said, "Well, hey, do you mind if I if I join in and I you know, I want to try subbing this? I've never really subbed anything before, and I was really interested in translating." And she said, "Sure, I'll I'll send you the raws." And so she's been really nice about um, providing me with those. And um, I think some real life obligations got in the way. She just got really busy and uh, was unable to continue subbing. So I, I just continued on, and she's been providing me with uh, all the raw episodes. So I'm very thankful that uh, that I found her and that she's continuing to capture and, and send them to me. So yes, yeah, that's that's very good because otherwise I wouldn't be able to watch them at all. I could watch them Saturday mornings, but yeah, <laughs> a lot of the subtleties are far beyond my ability, so yeah, <laughs> admittedly I would be, I don't know what they said there. Yeah, I sometimes I get that too. I'll, I'll listen to it ten times over and I have no idea what they just said, or yeah. I know what they said but I don't understand what it means. And um, right. time, Times like those, I'll, I'll ask my, my Japanese friend. Um, <laughs> she, <laughs> she has absolutely no interest in ponies, so it's really funny because she doesn't even like TV or, or, or animation or anything like that. And I'll, I'll, I'll tell her, I'm like, I don't understand what they're saying here. I'm like, Please do a, a pony check. And, and I'll send her just, just the clips that I don't understand. And, mm-hmm. and she'll watch them and send me what they're saying or if uh, I need to ask her a question. So <laughs> little did she realize that this became almost a weekly thing because there's always like one line where uh-huh. I can't figure it out. <laughs> So now I'm sending this person who has no interest in pony these pony clips every week, and oh, they're all out of context because I'm not going to send you the whole episode. Sure, sure. I have them just saying just the weirdest things, and um, you can only imagine what she thinks. <laughs> but I'm, I'm helpful that she's such a dedicated friend that mm-hmm. she will help me in my time of pony need. That's a good thing. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> can you think of uh, a specific example, something that just didn't translate? Oh gosh! Oh, what was it? Um, in um, over a barrel. Okay. It was um, when Applejack was talking to her to to, to the tree. Um, what was the tree's name? Bloomberg. Bloomberg, yeah. And uh, Rarity made a, made an insult in calling him a, a baby, and uh, she said, "Oh, it's he's not a baby." And in an English version, I think he said, "She said, um, don't listen to Whittle, Rar- Whittle Rarity." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And in the Japanese version, uh, I can't. Remember the word, but it, it translated to the word that basically means when a a child has a little accident. Oh, okay. And for the life of me, <laughs> I couldn't figure out what does what does this mean? Does, does is it she calling her a, a child? Or and I asked my friend, I'm like, what is? Why is she calling her this word? And she's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Oh, okay, the Japanese person doesn't know what it means, and I don't know what it means, and I don't remember what I ended up translating it as, but I think I think I want to go back and maybe update that <laughs> subtitle because I, I still to this day I'm, I mean, I'm anyone who's listening to this now, if you 
<laughs> tell me, then that would be awesome. But I'm, I'm guessing what it, she's just calling her a, a baby or child, kind of like a, in the English version, when she's called a whittle. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I, I guess the the word for a child having an accident just means that they're too young and need to have diapers or something. To that gotcha. Extent. But, the logic's there. I flow with it. I, I, that's I, the only way I can translate. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but that one threw me for a loop. Ooh, okay, I guess I guess wee wee is probably the best <laughs> way. I guess we also means small in English, so maybe that's I can That's true. That's true. So, um, you could you could call somebody a little stinker, and that's yeah yeah. So I'm I'm still when I go back and and redo these episodes with the assumed uh, DVD releases, then um, I'll have to check, give that one some thought. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. huh. but, um, I, I'm curious, how long did it take to get uh, Super Speedy Cider Squeezy done? Oh, I don't even know how many times I had to listen to that one. Um, <laughs> in the middle, when they're talking really fast, like I, I, I tried slowing down the audio, and I just and figure it out and that was another area where I sent um, like two or three clips to my friend <laughs> <laughs> it's just it, it wasn't even the whole song it was just like that one line mm-hmm. <laughs> um, but it was just it was just really fast um, yeah. just like in the English version so sure, sure. some of it was just hard to pick up and not needed yeah I think it's I think it's a shame because I doubt that any person in Japan will find that episode as funny just because they haven't seen Music Man yeah, those those kinds of references do get lost in translation. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, I, I would imagine that Daring Do would be just as popular because, yeah, Indiana Jones, we have that. Okay, I remember that. Whoa. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the Music Man didn't then, really happen. It it probably just looks like your typical sleazy salesman. Yeah. Doing their sleazy salesman thing. Yeah. Uh, probably nothing more than that. Well, I, I, I kind of thought the uh, change was interesting from opportunity in this community was this town has a lucky chance. Yes. Yep. Which, I don't know, It I guess it's the same thing, but the Japanese version seems to imply to me that this town gets something that other towns don't. Yeah, yeah, because that's basically what they said. This is a chance that only this town has. So yeah. We're giving you something special, so therefore you should take advantage of it. Yeah, and I don't know. I, I guess it's the same in English. It just sounds a bit more selfish to me in Japanese. Like other towns don't get this. You guys are special. Mm-hmm. That's how you sell, maybe. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> get a sense of community, and then that's it. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess. I guess as far as the translation, well, the dialogue is is fairly directly translated for the most part. The songs begin because of of the tune and having to. Um, fix, fit all the syllables in. Sure. Um, probably get the most change in terms right. of translation. Uh, the, the same idea and, and concepts are there, but because Japanese is such a bulky syllabic language, yes, can't fit as much information in as few syllables as, as we can in English. Right. So um, a lot of times information is simplified or just cut um, when it comes to the, the translation of the songs. Well, and also... Good. Japanese has a much uh, a smaller vocabulary than English does, which is not anything against Japanese in general. Most languages don't have as much of a word count as English does. Mm-hmm. So when Pinky does the smile song and she can say smile, grin, beam, those are all the same thing. Actually, they used, I think it was about three, three or four different words for smile in the Japanese. Yes, they did. I was impressed with that. I, I honestly expected it to be the same word throughout the whole thing. But. I was, <laughs> I was, I was uh, trying to think of like, okay, do I want to like translate each one differently, or do I make them all smile? And mm. <laughs> I think I did like half and half. I think I just smile and, and laugh at some points. But yeah, and they did even use the English smile. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I thought that was cute. It was really cute. I was, I was really happy that they were able to get that song done. I was, I was worried about that. Now the only challenge: will they translate this day, Aria? Oh, that's what I'm waiting for. It, that would be, at this point, it would, it would be really odd if that one was in English, because it's... I think so, yeah. It's it's one of those songs where if you don't translate it, then, I mean, you're not really going to know what's what's going on. Of course, you'll yeah. have subtitles if it's not, but it, it just seemed, it would, it would be a weird song to not translate. I think so, too. Where 
winter wrap up in, in rarity songs are singing about relevance to the plot. It's, it's kind of more just singing about something and you've already established that idea. True. And true. Very what's true. Going on. Whereas this day Arya is kind of more uh, plot centric. Yeah. And yeah. since Chrysalis has her little thing at the end where she does a little uh, shortened version, um, it would be kind of weird if they had the main one in English and then <laughs> or if they were both in English, all of a sudden she walks over and, oh, when I'm evil, I just sing in English. I don't know. <laughs> that would add another level to it, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be... We'll start a trend and all of a sudden <laughs> bad guys speak in Japanese yeah. and they sing in English, which makes them even more evil. <laughs> Maybe. English is just an evil language. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I, I think. I mean, it's the last episode in in the series that we know of. They have um, the the rights to distribute. So, it, I'm fairly confident that they'll translate that. Um, yeah. Big Brother, best friend, still on the fence with that one. That one might be in English because Twilight hasn't had a full song in English. She only had a singing part in the gala. Yeah. That's true. The wrap up was English. Very true. I, w- I was pleased when uh, Find a Pet came out because I thought that Fluttershy would not be singing except mm, in yeah. the Yala. No. Yeah. It was so kind I... of more half talking, though. That's true. <laughs> so, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll have to see what happens. I'd like to see more Oni Chan Festo Fredendo. Yeah, that would be. <laughs> The only problem that I can see with that is that BBBFF won't translate. No, no. They'll probably just say my big brother friend or he yeah, was my yeah. friend or something like that. Or use like the Japanese slang and just combine the words into like Onidachi or something. I don't know. Well, that would sound like demon friend then. Yes, that's true. Never <laughs> mind. Well, it would explain why all, the, why all the other ponies look at her like, what? Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. We'll have to see for that one. I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, crossing my fingers for this day, Ari, and yes. whoever they choose to do Cadence has a wonderful singing voice. I think pull it off. I've been rather impressed with the uh, bit parts. I thought that Iron Will was done very well. Yeah, <laughs> he was. He was entertaining. He's one of my favorite characters. I was really happy, and Cheerilee's voice when she gets into the love poison just was so <laughs> drop dead gorgeous. I was yeah loving it. They, they've done a, a... I don't think there's been really a voice that I've been really dissatisfied with um, in the yeah. episode so far. That's true. So at first, like, when I first hear them, I'm like, okay, that's different. But then it, it clicks right away and you say, okay, well... What was your opinion of uh, Japanese Discord? Japanese Discord? Oh, I was... That was one where I was I was really hyped about because I really love Discord. Mm-hmm. And I was, I was really excited. I'm like, what's his voice going to be like? So at first I was like, oh, he sounds, sounds kind of like a crazy old man. But then I realized... He is a crazy old man. Yes. Um, so I, I warmed up rather quickly, and I think he, he did a very mm-hmm. good job. I think a lot of people, myself included, mm-hmm. when we watched it, were kind of expecting just somebody to do John Delancey. Yeah. Just yeah. Japanese version of it. And then more I thought about it, like, well, John Delancey is John Delancey. If we're just going to leave that, then why translate it at all? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Japanese Discord started low and then went high and then fast and then kind slow of- and... It took me a bit, and I was like, oh, he's speaking chaotically. Yeah. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I, I enjoyed it. Now, of course, I prefer John Delancey, but who doesn't? Very true, very true. <laughs> yes. If they end up getting season four, I'd be interesting to see him sing in Japanese. Yes. <laughs> that as, would be interesting. As well as I was thinking of, if they, if they translate season four, what are they going to do with Weird Al Pony? Because I'm sure he is not known in Japan. But maybe Eat the... It did come out here, so they okay. some people remember Eat It. Yes. Okay. Well, Not nearly the popularity level of America. No. Yeah. But, but I'm, I'm thinking, well, maybe they'll recognize that this was a, a, a rather well-known guest star. Maybe they'll find a famous Japanese comedian or something to yeah. do that. that. That would be kind of neat. If we could get the guys who did the Nande Daro song, that would. Oh, be cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, Japan has no shortage of crazy comedians. Very true. That are just wacky. So I'm Very sure true. people can fill the hooves of cheese sandwich. Yeah. 
Well, a question that I ask in each of my interviews, in all of My Little Pony, what mm-hmm. would you say is the one line or one scene that defines you? As oh, well? okay. Well, one of the first episodes I saw was, um, oh gosh, I can't even remember English titles anymore. The <laughs> the Rarity and the Diamond Dogs. Um, oh, goodness. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we'll just say Diamond Dogs because I'm sounding like that an one? idiot when I can't remember, but uh, okay, yeah. When she started whining, <laughs> ah yes, um, I I often, uh, as a child and even a little bit now, just kind of as a joke, um, have been teased by my family for whining, <laughs> <laughs> and my family would often tease me by imitating me and uh, doing that sort of high pitched oh, whining kind of thing. <laughs> and when I first saw that scene, I thought. Oh my gosh, I need to show this to my family. I, if they don't even need to understand Pony, they just need to watch this scene and they'll understand why I sent it to them. <laughs> um, so I, I guess on some level I somewhat identified with that because I do understand that whining can be used as a weapon. Right, right. Because I myself have done that. A dog and pony show. Yes, <sighs> okay, yes, that one. Oh, goodness. I almost lost all of my brony cred right there. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I've, I've got somewhat of an excuse because I'm just so immersed in the Japanese version. That Very true. Up until season four, I hadn't even watched the English version for several months. Oh, wow. Almost a year. And so when, it, when the first episode of season four aired, mm-hmm. the voices sounded really strange to me because I was <laughs> used to hearing the Japanese. But I'm like, why is there English coming out? Um, <laughs> I got used to it real fast, of course, but oh, yeah. uh, it was just—it was just kind of jarring at first. No, I—I I, I fully understand that, and honestly, I'm really—I know that Japan got their uh, so, uh, their dub a lot later than anywhere else, but yeah. a part of me is really thankful for that, just because it happened during the long break after season three. Yeah, some good timing. Yeah. <laughs> So, you know, everyone else is, oh, there's nothing new. I'm like, I get a new episode every week. Exactly. It's not full so, new, but I get to listen to new. Yeah, Re- uh, yeah fresh, fresh kind of uh, look. Uh-huh, exactly. And, and Japan kept Derpy's name. Yes, they did. So, uh, uh, not every dub did that. No, no. So I'm thinking that... Uh, they're they're pretty well aware of the brony community. I mean, again, they're they're latecomers in the game. It would be kind of odd if they didn't know about bronies, uh, but they did acknowledge them in their original press release, talking yep. about uh, that they were announcing bringing pony over here. I thought it was quite funny because they had their executive from Hasbro, uh-huh. who did not mention bronies, but then went over immediately to the Bushy Road executives, who flat out said the word brony. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So they're they're definitely very aware. Yes. And uh, yeah, we'll see we'll see where that takes us. But that's, I mean, I don't know the the details of of what content gets sent over right. that they, that they have. So I mean, obviously they have the original unedited version. But since they they consciously chose to use the derpy version, whether or not that was the only version they had, I'm not sure. Right. Um, might show that they're aware of the community. Could be. Could be. Mm-hmm. Well, everybody, today we have been speaking with uh, Choco Rechan. Uh, be sure to check out her YouTube channel and the uh, Daily Motion. And my official website. <laughs> and the official website, yes, absolutely. So the site is actually Choco Rechan, but it's not just you who's working on it, is it? No, no. Um, I have a partner. Uh, his uh, name is Tainted Terror. Uh, he actually found me on YouTube when I was actually able to upload the subbed episodes onto YouTube. Huh. Um, but then when the bands started coming around uh, and my YouTube got the axe, um, he, he had offered to make a website for me. Oh, nice. And uh, the timing was great because, again, I lost my YouTube channel and um, the, you know, I wasn't really savvy with, uh, I never made a website before, so I wouldn't even sure. know the first thing. So I was really thankful that, that he found me and he offered to, to put up this website. And he does all of the updates and everything. He makes the torrents and I'm really, really grateful for that. He works really hard. It's just the two of us. So right, right. 
Um, so I'm, I'm really grateful because, again, it, it takes a lot of time. Well, technically, technically, I'm sorry, technically three of you because MLP Japan does supply the raws. Yes, yes, okay. she supplies the raws, and uh, so the three of you. I'll, I'll do the subbing and I'll, I'll send everything to him. I'll, I'll upload to my Daily Motion account, which is what I'm using in place of YouTube. Right. Um, and then he does all the links and keeps the site updated. Um, he posts to the official Facebook group and gotcha. all that technical side. And um, that's that's a big help to me because there is no way I would have the time to do it <laughs> myself. Um, that's why I was using YouTube because it was just upload and I was right. But I can't use that anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, big thanks to him. Um, wouldn't have gotten this far without him. So, uh, okay. yeah. He, nice. he takes a, a big load off my shoulders by, by managing that. <laughs> and my Facebook. <laughs> and Facebook, yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, so whichever media you'd like to use, I'm, I'll be on there. Except for Twitter. Yeah, there's still no Twitter yet. I technically have a Twitter account, but really? I, I just haven't logged into it for like a year. Oh my but it's okay. there. <laughs> okay. Maybe if I guess, I guess if I had followers, I might, I might be motivated to tweet. Okay, well, we'll link it and see Uh-oh. what happens. Uh-oh, now there's, a, there's another area that I have to update. <laughs> Goodbye, any free time. All right. No. You can link Twitter to Facebook or other sites. Yeah. And, you know. uh, well, thank you so much for coming by today. Well, thank you for having me. And thank you very much for the subs. I really appreciate them. I don't oh, know. I appreciate that you appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And I admit, yep, I... Over uh, early winter, there was a long uh, non-updating period there. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> which, uh, it, it, mm, I'm not saying blame at all, but I would be like, is it updated? No, it's not updated. <laughs> is it updated yet? No, it's not updated. Okay. Is it up- No, no, no. Okay, not yet. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the fact that you came back and kept working again s- surprised me. I, there was a part of me that was like, yeah, that's the last one. Darn it. I'm committed. I, I'm, I'm not going to start a project and stop in the middle. So rest assured that uh, I will, of course, continue to finish this season. If season three, four, Equestria Girls, whatever it might be, if it's pony related, I will be subbing it. Woohoo! Yay! Wonderful. So, yes, I've already sold my soul. <laughs> belongs to the bronies now, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, I appreciate everyone's continued support and, of course, their patience as I mm-hmm. work to get each episode out every week. Yep. <laughs> Everyone, this has been Osaka Jack with Into the Spotlight on Everfree Network. We'll catch you next time.